Hello everyone, Marshabby13 here with a Vegas Dining Review. And we're here at the Four Seasons Las Vegas inside of the Mandalay Bay Resort. And we decided to stay in this evening and order a room service dinner. And everything is delivered with discretion and presented beautifully. In fact, this is one of the last hotels in Vegas to provide a traditional room service to all customers, particularly since MGM now delivers to-go containers in a bag for most orders. But how was the food? Well, this is the Sin City Burger, and wow, there is a lot going on here flavor-wise. The tobacco onions aren't overwhelmingly tobacco-y, which is a good thing, but they're pleasantly crunchy. The bun is beautifully toasted, as is the not-too-thin, not-too-thick char-grilled beef patty, which is cooked to a perfect medium well. What I really love about the overall package here is that it's nicely balanced, not too greasy. There's a good deal of sweetness overall, particularly with the brioche bun and the creaminess from the cheese and avocado and extra fresh and crisp vegetables. I think this may have been the best burger I've ever eaten here in Las Vegas. The fries I felt were unambiguously spectacular. Soft and supple on the inside, extra crispy on the outside, just beautifully cooked. And what a huge helping of chips that really had more of a steak fry consistency. For dessert, the chocolate cake may look pretty pedestrian, but the icing is deep and dark with a fruity, alcoholic undertone. The sponge consistency is perfect, with an ideal balance of salty and sweet, sort of like eating a Godiva truffle in cake form. The red streak across the plate is probably a raspberry sauce. All in all, this was really a next level quality dish. And surprisingly, the ice cream, despite sitting there for a while, maintained its frozen consistency. It may have been store-bought, but it certainly tasted homemade, bursting with vanilla bean goodness and making for an astonishingly brilliant accompaniment to the cake. It was almost like consuming a dense vanilla-infused whipped cream. Well, ready for round two? Room service was such a wonderful, traditional experience the first time, I thought I'd order it again. So here we are with room service dinner number two. And we start with the Cauliflower Poppers appetizer, a specialty apparently out of the Four Seasons Room Service Kitchen. And these poppers lived up to their lofty billing. The cauliflower florets came in a diversity of shapes and sizes, but somehow emerged from the fryer perfectly textured and evenly cooked with a super light tempura batter that manages to retain its crispiness. And this is not just any sweet chili sauce. It sings with a sophistication of soy and ginger with subtle citrus notes coating the battered cauliflower like a glaze on chicken wings. This is simply one of the best room service dishes I've ever had. I predict it will convert carnivores wars into vegetarians. The club sandwich is of course an old room service standby. You can choose from ham or turkey with a choice of bread, seven grain, rye, white, or wheat. Tonight I opted for turkey on seven grain. This was a huge sandwich, so large in fact that it was difficult to eat. The bread was lightly toasted, nothing was very well seasoned, and it was all just a bit dry. The side of mayonnaise enhanced the experience and the avocado averted complete disaster. But in the end, there were just too many problems to ignore with this club. The ratio of bread to other ingredients was disproportional to the extreme. The bread was insufficient sufficiently toasted and was all just a bit bland, begging for some acidity or other hint of brightness. And fortunately, I found some brightness by opting for the truffle fries this time. The truffle is quite subtle, barely evident in fact, and in my opinion that's a good thing, as truffle can be quite overpowering. I'm happy to say that these are in fact better than regular fries. I normally eschew herb seasoning, but this mild addition was a pleasant enhancement. For dessert, the cheesecake was a bit of a mixed bag. In the end, I liked it, but let's just say my opinion evolved over time. My first observations were of a crumbly and much less creamy version of the classic cheesecake. It was a bit drier texture-wise and not very sweet, almost like a ricotta pie, and the crust was far from crunchy. I felt it was partially redeemed by the chocolate and cream. This is definitely an upscale variation on a classic dessert. Of course, upscale doesn't necessarily mean better, and this may be a prime example of that phenomenon in some respects, but I must admit it grows on you. The cheese is more prominent than in your average cheesecake. In the end, I liked it. Well, that's all for this review. If you happen to stay at the Four Seasons in Las Vegas, I hope you enjoyed as much as I did, whether you dined here or not. Until next time, happy eats and safe travels. Marsh W13, out.